Hey guys, I think we have us a no heat call. And in fact, I'm not real sure this is a house I've been to before. And I think I've quoted them an estimate to change the system out. Let's go in and see what's going on. How long's the filter been out? Um, he just took it out. They cleaned it. He thought maybe that was the problem. A couple of days ago, we cleaned it. We put it back in. And we took it out last night. And we decided to um, figure out what was wrong. Okay. Sixty-nine. So they're trying to run it and cool. Let's go check outside. Mm. Mm. All right. I do not hear the compressor running. That could be for various reasons. <clears throat> I think I need to clean that thing up or something. It shouldn't be that hard to get off. Mm. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. I do understand part of this. If that capacitor don't fit in that hole, it makes it very difficult. Hmm. But at the same time, that looks like crap. I'm checking to see if I can catch a lock rotor amp. That's not even enough to register right there. Let's make sure we don't have power. You never know what's on the inside of that disconnect. Nothing. 
nothing. All right. I'm still missing just a regular screwdriver. I seem to keep losing them. I'm gonna short this out. At least I'm gonna try to. <clears throat> and we're going to, I mean, that is just such a mess. Such a complete and absolute disaster. My desire is to just rip all this stuff out, but I'm looking for what the problem is. and five. Please tell me that's not a five. Alright, let's change this to turn this off. Capacitor. I got 37.2 microfarads. That's not enough to stop it. <clears throat> that up there is a 10. I'm gonna refrain from messing with all of that right now. What do I do with my brush? Oh. Now, I want to check to see if the compressor is hot. Or if um, some of the terminals have burned off or something. It's warm. Y'all see this oil around here? Check and make sure. We got just a little bit of pressure. Let's see if we can bubble search those joints.
Let's give it just a second. <laughs> I'm pretty dang sure we got a leak right there. I'm just not seeing it right now. All right, because I'm pretty sure we do have a leak there. <clears throat> Dang. I have no O-ring. <sighs> Lovely. Let me go get an O-ring. Because I'm pretty sure we got a leak, I'm going to pressurize this with nitrogen. That's a couple of O-rings. Oh my God, it's been over a month or so since I've used this. Hope I got pressure. I do. There we go. Let me put you down there so y'all can see that. Ow, that compressor's hot. Now the question is, on this old system like this, I think this is an R22 system, and they've had troubles with the evaporator coil, do we fix it? <clears throat> it's an easy fix, but it's not gonna be cheap. We'll see, let's work up an estimate, give them some options. All right, this is a 2012, but it is a R22. Was it field charged? Yes, it was field charged. Outdoor units, factory charged, zero ounces. So a 2012 three ton R22. Wait a minute, that's a three ton? Twenty thirteen had to be converted. Twenty thirteen model. There's a capacitor, another dryer, two dryers out here. <clears throat> what all kind of work has been done on this thing? I gotta look back in my history and see if I've done anything. <clears throat> all 
right so it looks like I've charged this one up a couple times I've had to clean that outdoor coil I have brushed and cleaned the indoor coil replaced the thermostat and it looks like I replaced the TXV at some time Let's see when was that mm, five years ago I have given an estimate to change the evaporator coil so I know it was leaking let me um, see if I have anything in here found coil and Schrader's leaking charge system submit an estimate for new coil or new system um, now that we have absolutely no Freon and I know I have a leaking evaporator coil and that leak outside I'm going to submit an estimate for a new system again and see how it goes I hope y'all enjoyed that little video I happen to have my van in the shop here because the brakes are squeaking it's a good time to bring it in before summer starts and um, I don't know if I'm going to get a repair or if I'm going to get a change out on that one I haven't gotten any response yet thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one